Hi, I'm Duncan with the Berkeley Fire Department. Today we're going to talk about wildfire preparation and defensible space inspections. You may see Berkeley Fire Department ambassadors in the hills knocking on doors in an effort to help Berkeley residents understand defensible space and home hardening. Defensible space is the buffer you create between a building on your property and the grass, trees, shrubs, or any wildland area that surround it. It's important to understand that during a wildfire, embers are the leading cause of home ignition. The wind that blows with a wildfire pushes embers up to miles ahead of the actual fire itself. The chance of your home igniting has more to do with the embers that may fall on your property than it does with the actual direct flame contact. The things that we each do individually are going to make our home safer, our families safer, and therefore the community around us safer. We're truly in this together. It takes each one of us to work together to make the city of Berkeley more fire safe. We divide defensible space into three zones. Zone zero, zone one, and zone two. Zone zero is directly from your structure, so zero feet to five feet from the structure. Zone one is up to 30 feet from the structure, and zone two is up to 100 feet from your structure. So in zone zero, zero to five feet, we're looking to remove all combustibles, so to clear it as much as possible. So that means no combustible bark or mulch. Hardscape like pavers, concrete, gravel, and other non-combustible mulch materials. We're also looking for you to remove all dead and dying weeds, grass, plants, shrubs, leaves, needles, cones, and to check your roofs and gutters, decks and porches, and stairways. We're also looking for you to remove all branches within 10 feet of any chimney or stovepipe outlet. Remove flammable plants near windows, including climbing vines on exterior walls. Limit plants in this area to low-growing, non-woody, properly maintained plants. Consider relocating garbage and recycling containers outside of Zone Zero. When you're assessing your own home, make sure to look and see if there's any dead or dying vines that connect the vegetation on the ground to the eaves or to your roof. We're trying to eliminate anything that might be a ladder from dead or dying vegetation to your home. Wooden fences are common in Berkeley. We're actually recommending now that people use metal fences if possible, or at least the part that actually attaches to the house. Again, planters are common in Berkeley. What we're recommending is that people either use steel planters or ceramic planters, whatever is non-combustible. So zone one we call our lean, clean, and green zone. In zone one, it's okay to have a beautiful garden. But what we're asking people to do is to make sure that the garden they do have is lean and green and that they remove any of the dead and dying vegetation. Relocate wood piles to zone two, which is beyond 30 feet up to 100 feet. Remove vegetation and items that could catch fire from around and under decks, balconies, and stairs. Trim trees regularly to keep branches a minimum of 10 feet from other trees. Create a separation between trees, shrubs, and items that could catch fire, like patio furniture, wood piles, swing sets, etc. So when we talk about defensible space, you'll often hear us talk about vertical space or ladder fuels. What we're talking about there is removing vegetation that can connect from the ground to the trees. One thing you can do is limb your trees up to six feet from the ground, cutting or mowing annual grass down to a maximum height of four inches, creating horizontal space between shrubs and trees, and you can remove any plants or vegetation that might connect the ground to those trees to your home. So for many of our residents in Berkeley, there may not appear to be a zone two, as zone two extends from 30 feet to 100 feet from the home. Larger estates will have a zone two, but also keep in mind that zone two on smaller properties will still extend 100 feet from the home regardless of city streets and adjacent properties. So what we're looking for in zone two, if you have one, is to do as much fuel reduction as you can. Again, trying to keep your plants and your trees lean and green and removing all dead and dying vegetation all exposed wood piles must have a minimum of 10 feet of clearance down to bare mineral soil in all directions. It's really important to understand that this is a community effort. Every single one of us has to participate in this in order for the entire city to be safe. If you have any questions or want to learn more about the Wildland Urban Interface Program, please visit berkeleyfiresafe.org.